Welcome back everyone. So today I'm going to be making Halloween sugar cookies. And with the holidays coming up, I wanted this to be more of a tips and tricks type of a um, video because it just makes everybody's life a little bit easier if they knew what to look out for when making sugar cookies or when they're baking or rolling out or anything like that. So some of the stuff that you'll need is some cookie dough, obviously. And I already pre-made this. I might do another video showing you how I made this cookie dough, but it's getting there. Just wait, just wait. It's gonna, it's all gonna come together. I have um, some cookie cutters, some Halloween cookie cutters. I have a skull, um, a black cat, and a jack-o'-lantern with a little hat. I have uh, parchment paper. So after I finish rolling everything out, I'm just gonna slide it onto the parchment paper. All-purpose flour, you're gonna need a lot of this because it's going to stick to your, your countertop if you don't put enough all-purpose flour on their countertop and your rolling pin. And I also have a ruler because I wanna make all my cookies a quarter inch. And that's basically it. Let's get right into this video. All right, so I put a generous amount of flour on my countertop and on my rolling pin because I do not want this dough to stick at all. And you gotta remember to move quickly because it will warm up and start to get loose and that is not what you want. All right, so I'm gonna begin by waking up the dough by pounding it a couple times just so I can break up that chill that's inside of it. And I'm gonna um, roll and turn. You see how it's getting stuck to the countertop? That's why you always gotta make sure you're putting um, flour underneath it. You see that? It's all getting stuck. All right, so I'm gonna keep rolling and turning until it gets to a quarter inch. And then I'm going to place it on parchment paper so that it can go back into the refrigerator to chill for another 30 minutes. If you are not able to lift up your dough and place it on the parchment paper, it means it's gotten too soft and you would need to um, roll it up and put it back into the refrigerator and repeat this step. Now this is why you put the um, dough into the refrigerator before cutting because look at how clean these cuts come out. So this step, just a FYI, always remember to flour your cookie cutters. These cookies don't expand a lot, so they can be a little bit closer, but it all depends on how much dough you have. I only had enough to fill up the tray, so um, that's what I did. You 
you see that after a while they start coming right out and it just like pops right out of the dough right onto the tin This is another tip do not use your hands to touch the dough because then it just gets it warm again and you're gonna have to start all the way over just use the parchment paper to push all your dough back into a ball and then you can roll it out just remember every time you roll it out Put it back into the refrigerator until it's time to use it because you don't want this dough soft. All right, guys, it's time to put it in the oven. I usually keep mine in for eight minutes, but just don't go above 10 minutes. All right, guys, these are out of the oven. They're cooled down and honestly, they're ready to decorate. <laughs> Look at this. You have that nice um, light brown back. You don't have any brown pieces coming up the front, which you don't even want because when you're starting to decorate, um, it will see through your cookies. This is really nice. So I'm going to be posting a video of how to make the sugar cookies and then you'll be able to follow all the steps. Um, if you want to see these fully decorated, make sure you check out my um, Instagram channel. I'm going to post it somewhere in these areas. I'm still learning how to do this. But thank you for watching my video. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Have a good day.